all righty. So we've got the carby on there. It actually looks really good. So I've got it all welded up. What I will end up doing inside of these tubes is actually die grinding it out so it flows nice and evenly inside. Um, but I actually reckon this throttle linkage won't be too bad to hook up. I think we'll have to cut it off the old motorbike handle there um, and just mount it up somehow there and then connect these two with a little joiner as so. Now the choke is actually going to be quite difficult because it does take a fair bit of pressure to pull back. So we'll have to end up making a nice big spring back to there or something I reckon. Yeah, some other exciting news. I finally found an alternator for this thing, a little Kubota 20 amp alternator, uh, permanent magnet one. So what I'm going to do is sand down this mount here and we'll be able to pivot that bolt off there. So it does look pretty good there. And then the other bolt will be able to put our adjuster coming off this one down here. So before we uh, jump into anything else, I probably should see if this thing will actually run with that carby first. So that throttle cable's turned out really good there. Um, just trimmed each side to length, just so uh, nothing gets caught on anything. Actually moves back really well, and it does spring back because there's a spring inside this carby, so we don't need to put any external springs on here anymore. Um, and the fuel hose I've just ran temporarily. I do have to try and figure out some type of mount for that later on. But I do want to see if this alternator's charging, and I do want to take this thing for a good drive just before we actually chuck something on this golf cart that is going to transform it completely. So yeah, let's go for a rip. All right, so that little alternator is putting out 13. Oh man, it's 
All right, this thing goes freaking unreal now. I'm super glad that we did that carby upgrade. This thing has a lot more power. Uh, now I came back and the alternator belt was loose. What had happened was the adjuster bolt had come loose and the bottom one as well. So what I've done now is actually put lock washers on there. This um, hole here is actually slotted like this one, so that bolt can actually move. So I've cinched that really tight. We may end up having to machine up some type of bush in there um, for here. So I've tightened those up, put um, lock washers on all of them. And to no surprise, the torque converters come loose again. So that front bolt's actually, that's that one stayed in place, obviously with the split pin. But the back one um, with the double nuts, I think we're gonna have to put some type of castle nut um, set up so we can still adjust it and put a split pin in it. show you guys I picked up this brand new set of tires these were very difficult to find and luckily I found some um, fairly cheap so these are a 22 inch tire on a 10 inch rim so that's a massive upgrade from what we've got on here with the 8 inch rim so this will give us a lot more ground clearance and hopefully a little bit better in the mud yeah I just can't wait so let's just bolt these things on That's made all the difference to this thing. It's given it a lot more ground clearance. Um, I am noticing that we are getting quite close here to the guard, so I'll probably have to uh, maybe massage that a little bit, get it out of the way. I am gonna build a custom rebar for this thing, so it's not really gonna matter if we take that off and move it all out. But yeah, the rear fits really good. The fronts, however, um, on this front spindle side, it's definitely been crashed or something and bent, that spindle. I did try and uh, belt it down, but it just won't move, so I'm gonna have to take that arm off. Um, the only other thing I would probably do to this thing is maybe add like a wheel spacer, because as you can see, they are still sitting fairly well inside. So that'll just space that out a little bit more, and then we can put a flare on it. That'll just give this thing a lot more stability. Um, but as, as of right now, I think it looks really good. This thing's lifted up probably about three inches in height. All right, so with the old golf cart wheels, we could chuck them on the mini-jeep. Um, let me know what you guys reckon down below. I definitely think these will look 100 times better than the little cheese cutters we've got on here at the moment. Now these are four stud and these are three studs, so we'll have to take off the hub and machine it down and make up a new uh, mounting face for it. So that'll be a fun little project to do. But I think these things will just be a lot more stable on the ground because they're a lot wider than these little wheels. Alrighty, so I fixed up that um, tie rod end there. So as you can see, it is still close to that wheel, but um, I think it's pretty good now. Same with the other side. And then at the back here, we're gonna do what we did to that front torque converter nut on the back. Um, so we'll put a split pin through it and then later on we can cut some slits in it when I take it back out and we'll make it like a castle nut.
All right, so I'm just gonna slap a coat of paint on this thing. And then um, later on, I'll get a couple of plastic caps just to fill in these holes. Alrighty, how much better does that look without those bags on the back? This is just giving us a lot more room for our tray. So we'll be able to bring our tray out to probably about here. Um, a nice little tray, so put whatever we want on there, some wood and stuff when we go camping. Um, and then we can also build our roll cage um, all the way up and around and down the front. So we had to put those on there and attach it to here. So that will be in the next video. Um, but yeah, I reckon as of now, I think we should go take this thing for a good ride because I say that every video and something always breaks, but I think we're gonna be fairly right. Famous last words anyway. happy with that test drive. Um, this thing went really good, nothing came loose, nothing fell off. Um, it just handled really well, went up the hills, went through some puddles, um, that torque converter didn't slip or anything. So it's still tight down there and so is that alternator. So I'm really happy with how this drive line's all dialed in. The other thing I will be changing is those front A-arms. We'll be making new ones so we can get some better ground clearance. Because at the moment you can just hit a stump and this thing pulls right up. So I'll definitely be changing that in the future. But yeah, next week guys we're going to start on the roll cage for this thing. So we're going to go up and over and back down. And then we'll, once we've built that we can build our tray. Maybe a tippet tray, I'm not sure what yet. And the tray can have its own hurdle as well. So this thing will be super strong. And the last thing I'm planning on building is a front winch bar um, with some driving lights. And maybe a rear bar with a rear hitch so we can tow a trailer and that around if we ever need to and possibly some rock sliders just to give us a little bit of extra protection. All right, so the reason why I didn't post last weekend, I have been posting weekly for months now, um, was because I'm actually currently moving back home. So I'm in the process of moving everything back, everything into the new shed here um, and getting it all set up because I'm actually starting to build a house. So i um, signed it all up and everything. It takes about 12 to 18 months and we'll hopefully have a nice decent sized shed in the backyard where we can put all of our stuff from here into there. But yeah guys, the content may have to be fortnightly now because I'm trying to save every dollar. These projects too cost a lot of money and setting up this workshop has cost me a lot of money. But I really enjoy doing it. I really enjoy showing you guys um, the process and everything and I hope you guys enjoy it too. But yeah, I have noticed that these videos haven't been getting quite as many views as uh, they used to. I think I might be doing something wrong, I'm not too sure. But if you guys could maybe share these videos around and share the channel around, I'd really appreciate that. And yeah, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and notification bell I'll sit out and see out of thing. I'll see you guys in the next one.